Hey guys, it's me, Siren, back with another video. Today is day 19 of Hidden Figures, and today's hidden figure is Carolyn B. Parker, who was a physicist who worked from 1943 to 1947 on the Dayton Project, which was the plutonium research and development arm of the Manhattan Project. And for those of you that don't know, the Manhattan Project was a research and development undertaking during World War II that produced the first nuclear weapons. After the successful completion of the project, Parker became an assistant professor in physics at Fisk University. Carolyn Beatrice Parker was born in Gainesville, Florida on November 18, 1917. She was one of six children, all but one of whom received natural science or mathematics degrees. Her father was Julius A. Parker, a physician who was the second black American to receive a PhD from Harvard, and her mother, Della Merle Parker, was a sister of Joan Merle Owens, a marine biologist who was one of the first black American women to receive a PhD in geology. Carolyn Parker graduated magna cum laude with a degree from Fisk University in 1938 before going on to receive a master's in mathematics from the University of Michigan in 1941. While working towards her master's, Parker taught public school science and math in Florida and Virginia, and after receiving it, she became an instructor in physics and mathematics at Bluefield State College from 1942 to 1943. From 1943 to 1947, Parker was a research physicist on the Dayton Project at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. The Dayton Project was part of the Manhattan Project to develop atomic weapons during World War II and the Cold War, and Parker worked with the Monsanto Chemical Company doing top-secret research on using polonium as the initiator for atomic explosions. The Manhattan Project was active from 1942 to 1946 and was disbanded after the formation of the United States Atomic Energy Commission in 1947. After the Manhattan Project was shut down, Parker became an assistant professor of physics at Fisk University in Tennessee, and she also returned to her academic studies. In 1951, she gained a master's in physics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and she went on to complete the coursework for a PhD in 1953. She's the first black American woman known to have gained a postgraduate degree in physics. Unfortunately, Parker developed leukemia in the early 1950s, which her family believed was radiation induced from her work on the Manhattan Project. Her work in Dayton revolved around using polonium as the catalyst for atomic bombs, and leukemia is regarded as a risk of occupational polonium exposure. Parker died of leukemia in Gainesville, Florida on March 3, 1966, at the very young age of 47. In 2000, 34 years after her death, the Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Program included leukemia as an illness you could receive compensation for, for workers at the Dayton Project who were, or should have been, regularly monitored for polonium levels and who were employed there over a certain amount of time. Unfortunately, I could not find out if her family got compensated for her untimely death, but I really, 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 really hope they did. Carolyn B. Parker. Hidden figure, uh, there's not very much information out there on her, but there is a book on black women scientists that I will include a Google link, um, a Google documents link in the description box if any of you guys want to check that out. Good for that as always. See you guys next time.